your interventional radiologist gets involved in the management of patients with malignancy in, in two ways. The most common thing we do is not treatment. The most common thing we do is diagnosis. Now, there's a lot of really pretty common tumors out there. Unfortunately, as we get older, we start picking these things up. And, you know, if you're a woman, it's breast cancer. If you're a man, it's lung cancer. Or if you're a man or a woman, it can be colon cancer. And you make these diagnoses in one of a number of ways. You should know that medicine's really changed rather dramatically since I had black hair even. When I started medical school and you had a chest x-ray and you had a spot on your lung, you know what they'd do? Well, first they'd look for your old x-rays, but if you didn't have any, there's a pretty fair chance that someone would wheel you off to the operating room. They'd make an incision probably about this long in your chest and they'd go in and they'd take part of your lung out. And about 60% of the time, they'd come back and go, oh, it was just an infection. We were just kidding. We didn't really need to do that. But now, with the advent of image-guided biopsy, that's become all totally unnecessary. And this is really, in the big scheme of things, probably the major contribution of interventional radiology to the large scope of medicine, in that we do a number of things under image guidance, and you can see this is a liver, and this black spot in here shouldn't be there. And rather than doing a laparotomy and open somebody's abdomen up, it's possible for us under imaging guidance to put a needle into that spot. We pass this needle off to a pathologist who's sitting there with a microscope. They put a little stain on it, and they look at it under the microscope, and they can tell really in pretty short order whether or not what they're dealing with is a cancer. And we can do this in the lung and it doesn't have to be right up next to the chest wall. We can actually do it inside the lung. It turns out that this is an outpatient procedure. We do give people some sedation. It's a very low risk procedure. It's not a no risk procedure. People do have complications, sometimes serious complications, but it's, it's unusual. And it's more than 90% accurate.